Hello everyone, I'm recording this in a very informal way. I was planning uh, to record a nice video to my farewell, but uh, two days ago I was diagnosed with COVID-19, so I am isolated and I was thinking about not recording anything, but I said no, I, I need to record something. Uh, because it was such a fantastic time that I said I cannot close this project properly uh, without sharing with all of you this message. Around uh, four and a half years ago, I received a phone call from one of my best friends, Cindy Anderson, from the Project Management Institute. At that time, I was at the United Nations and she called me and said, Ricardo, uh, we have something that maybe you will be interested in, in taking a lead. And she explained it to me, we need to work with senior executives to convince them the relevance of execution. Most of senior executives are so paranoid with the strategy concept and the design and the idea piece that many times they miss the execution piece. They think that the execution just happened. And she said one thing to me that was a perfect hook for me to start. And she said, Ricardo, it's a great opportunity for us, not only to make uh, companies and corporations more profitable, but also to change society because society today is wasting an incredible amount of money due to our lack of execution. We can see today with COVID-19 and so many other things. And this was the seed that brought me to what became Brightline. At the time, it was called Strategic Initiative Management. And we created a complete unique operation mode. So PMI and the PMI Board of Directors gave us a very strong freedom and a very strong flexibility to reach our goals. And in this four and a half years, we, we had such an incredible result. I, I cannot even believe when I look back. We were able, in the thought and practice leadership, to publish five books together with Thinkers 50, with dozens of thought leaders papers, covering transformation, covering strategy execution, and covering the human side. We were also able to produce three foundation pieces that for me, it's one of the things I'm most proud of. The first one, the bright line guiding principles. We created a set of 10 guiding principles that would be like a guide for executives to understand what is the missing point to transform ideas into reality. The second was the People Manifesto. And this, for me, has a very special place in my heart. Because at the end, based on all researches we did, at the end comes all to people. And the people that are making the transformation. It's not, it's not money, it's not technology. If you don't overcome people's fears, and if you don't sell the idea to them, not imagine that they are naive, but that they are intelligent ones and they want to protect themselves. And, and this is a natural process. You don't get to anywhere. And the third one was the Bright Line Transformation Compass, a human-centric approach that we developed together with Professor Tabrizi. And this was, for me, one of the key aspects because when people said, why another transformation? Compass. Why, why another transformation guideline? And I said, this is different. This, we are putting people at the center of the process. It's not technology. It's not money. It's people. And these three foundations allowed us to go all over the world, trying to connect, interviewing people, getting to the big tables and trying to convince them about the relevance of getting things done. Things cannot just stay on paper. And, and please, I, I don't want you to think that create an idea, put it on paper is, is easy. 
But what really delivers impact is when you transform that ideas into true reality. We did a partnership with TED and out of this partnership, we were not only able to be together with leading minds on this environment, but also we were able to deliver 53 million views in our combined TED Talks. This was an incredible reach for an organization that had only three and a half, four years at that time. We also were able to create together in a record time. We created in three months together with great thought leaders that donated their time to create a bridging the gap between strategy design and delivery course on Coursera. That is close to 20,000 enrollments. And this is something that makes me so proud. When I decided to join this effort and to do this work for PMI, I was thinking, okay, this will be a two year. And then in 2018, uh, the PMI board of directors agreed to extend for two more years. And today is my last day. And today is like, this, this video is like a project closeout. So it's the time to thank people. It's the time to acknowledge and it's time for us to move forward. Uh, and before I finish, I want just to make sure I thank to the people that many times you saw me on the face, you saw me on the videos, and you, you, you may think, oh, it's, it's Ricardo alone. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm just maybe probably the most visible face. But I want first to start thanking Cindy Anderson, uh, who brought me to PMI for her willingness to really convince me and sell me that idea that that post-it would, would become something real. And second is Mike DePrisco the leader of Brightline in the past year inside PMI. He was the machine and the brain to move Brightline to a new phase that is starting now with fully integration of Brightline inside PMI. So by thanking the two of them, I'm thanking all the staff of PMI since 2018 up to today. I want also to take the opportunity to thank the PMI Board of Directors. The 2016, the 2017, the 2018, the 2019, and the 2020. For trusting me when in 2016 they approved the mandate for Brightline. And knowing that the same Ricardo that came to PMI in 1999 with 27 years old and full of passion would do the same again for Brightline. And I'm very uh, proud of having this opportunity to do that for PMI. The second group I want to thank is all the coalition members, because without these organizations, it would be simply impossible for me to deliver anything. And a special thank from my heart to BCG, to Perry, to Jean. It, it was incredible your support to Michelle, to Greg, to Connor. You are true partners on bringing things together. BCG was a partner since the first moment, believing and helping us to move forward. I will never forget that. I want also to take the opportunity to thank our partners. From the Drucker Forum to Thinkers50, from The Economist to TED, we were able to build a true partnership, far more than a financial transaction. We, we built a common ground and a common interest. And I'm very proud. So I have called all of you to openly thank you. And I want to thank you all one more time for being such a nice, group of partners. We would never reach out our results without you. Another group I want to thank are the thought leaders. Those who supported us with content, with their image. They bought the sense of the idea 
that is unacceptable in the current scenario we live in, that we waste money and effort in a world where we need pretty much everything. So thank you from my heart, and I will never forget you too. And finally, I, uh, I cannot thank enough and feel so blessed by the team. The team I have, I had the chance to work with, it's, look, if you are listening to this, to this video, you have no idea of how it was for me to be part of this team. I want to thank all of you. I want to thank Yavnika. I want to thank Eddie. I want to thank Chin Chin. I want to thank Emil. I want to thank Janine. I want to thank Charles. I want to thank Sergio. And I want to thank my dear and beloved friend, Tyro, that will take a league on Brightline moving forward. With this team working remotely from home, we were able to build a connection that is so magic, that is so magic. We had everything, I would say, against us. Time zone, working from home, family, travel, and we made it. Every single victory we had on getting ready with materials to deliver a workshop in Tanzania for TED, to get our Coursera course ready in an insane timeline, to work together this year, to build together with PMI, the Organizational Transformation One, the first on the series of a new bright line that is coming to life in 2021. So you are like my family. You are like my family. I will never forget you, any of you, and I know for sure that you will go far that you will be brilliant and the, that you will make a massive impact on the society. Finally, on my side, it's always time. I'm very happy. I know that today I'm not in, in my best because, of course, I, I have some pain. But I want just to make sure that I am feeling absolutely relieved that all of you got your options and your positions. And for me, what the future deserves for me, it's if, if you look um, behind, I have some post-it notes and some ideas that I, I, I need to transform in reality. And this will be my next journey. For those who watch it, the series I created recently about career, mainly for young people, this is part of my own roadmap and I want to do different things in the future and this for me is the magic of life so if I go back on time during my life during my life as an entrepreneur in Brazil then doing my consulting works mainly in Africa and Brazil then going to the UN then going to Brightline I, I cannot thank more and I want just to wrap up Wishing all of you a fantastic 2021, full of joy, happiness. This year was not easy, and this end of the year is for me not easy at all, you know, being isolated and, and with the symptoms of COVID. Uh, but the future will be better for all of us. Thank you very much, and a special thank again for this dream team that I had the chance to work with. I will never forget you. Thank you.